I don't know what I'm going to do. Why, Beth Ann, I didn't expect... Dry cleaning, them, I guess. Yes, Brad. I heard you. Right, Jennifer. I babysit for seven weekends to buy these jeans. And I'm going to let Mom wash them? Well, I was going to take them by the cleaners this afternoon. Jennifer, I know John helps out there sometimes. But this is also basketball season, you know? It wouldn't matter if he were there. To him, I'm just another customer. It's important. They're making a movie about my life. It's called The Invisible Girl. <laughs> Ellen! Oh, listen, I gotta go, okay? Call you back in a bit, okay? Bye. Girl! <laughs> the baby, Roger. The baby? No. No, that too is ancient history. So? I'll obey the court's ruling. There you are. I told your father that phone was a bad idea. Listen, honey, I've been meaning to have a talk with you. You're old enough to do things on your own now, and you're starting to take on more responsibilities. Mama, Ellen and I need to have a mother-daughter talk. You think we could turn that down just a little bit? Might as well let her have the baby. She's not going to stop till she gets it anyway. Not that anybody ever listens to me. Listen, Mom, I don't know what brought this up, but I think you ought to know that I know now, that... Now, don't be so sure, young lady. There are still some things they don't teach in school these days. I think I learned this in, like, fifth grade, Mom. Well, I haven't seen you doing anything around here. Not now, Robert. It's okay. really not a good time. It's okay, dear. He won't get in the way. Mother! Anyway, I think it's high time you learned some facts about ironing. Ironing? Why, yes. Something the matter? Phew, I can't wait to tell Jennifer about this. That's a nice thought, dear. These are secrets everybody should learn as they grow up. Come on, we'll start at the beginning. Now, turn the steam off in your iron when you're using starch. There'll be enough moisture just by using spray starch. Look. Look at my blouse here. See how that just screams for starch? Spray lightly, then iron. And if you want to get extra body, spray a little more, and iron again, like that. Be sure not to tilt the can at more than a 45 degree angle, otherwise the can may not empty completely. See? You just press the button firmly, and spray it lightly and evenly, like that. You think I don't know that? Fine. So you drive the car. Well, you have potential. I've got an idea. Here, let me have this. Here. See what you can do with one of Dad's shirts. You know how fussy he is about his shirts. Not good, but not bad. Careful, don't wrinkle the cuff when you press. Good. Now the buttonholes. Good. Now, move what you finish away from you. Nothing. I just can't believe I'm standing here ironing. Why not? There's plenty to learn. Look, here are those overpriced pants you bought. They're ruined. What am I going to do? 
seven weekends of babysitting down the drain. Oh, what are you talking about? Watch. I iron the small areas first. Waistband. The zipper. The body. Save the legs for last. Fold the top leg back over the body. Line up the inseam with the outseam. See, like this, and iron. Spray and iron again along the crease to get a sharper crease if you want. Here. You try. Turn over your most precious possession and do it all again on the other leg. Right. Good. Now touch up any areas that need it, like right there at the top of the legs. I'm so proud of you, Ellen. I may give you a license in advanced ironing after supper. <laughs> supper? Give me telephone rights tonight, and I might help you. Fantastic. Is it safe yet? <laughs> <laughs> Look at Mr. Artist. In here, dear. What's for supper? Smells like chicken and fried apples. Beef kebabs, broiled tomatoes, oh. and fresh bread. I knew that. I could tell by the smell. <laughs> well, it looks like everything's pretty well in control here. Honestly, Ellen, give Dad a break. He's had a cruel day at the printing plant. Right, dear? No, oh, not really. Most of the time we heard about the chemistry of paper, school stuff. Pretty dull, huh? It was really kind of neat. You know that spray starch you use in your ironing? Mm -hmm. Well, that's the same stuff that makes all of our fine paper bright and smooth. Starch. Can you beat that? Paper's natural, right, Dad? What do you mean? Well, I gotta find a research topic on some natural product, since paper is processed wood. How about starch? It comes from living corn or rice or wheat. Same as the cotton in your clothes, right from the fields. Seems like all this natural stuff is really coming back in, like cotton and starch. And I'm sure you could continue discussing the latest fashions all night. Let's get this show on the road. Of course I'm going to be there. It's the biggest game of the year. My whole family's going to be there. Everybody. Jennifer, John Pritchard is the star of the team. I have to look like Miss America for him to pick me out of that crowd. Good game, man. Hey, thanks. Hi, John. Hi, Mr. McClendon. Great game. Thanks. He's doing? looking at great. you. Great. No, he's not. He is, too. <laughs> no, he's not. He is too. <laughs> see, he is looking at you. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Well, see you, Mr. McClendon. See you, Ellen. He was looking at me. <laughs> and don't oh. worry about dinner, hon. Oh, that would be great. I'll take care of it. Terrific. I've got a ton of laundry to do. Hey, Robert, go find Ellen for me, okay? Ellen? Ellen, come on. It's time to continue your ironing look. Oh. John, what's going on? Are you starching and ironing? What's going on here? You're starching and ironing. <laughs> Why not? It's important to look your best, right? Makes a good impression. Are you feeling okay? You bet. Sharp-looking clothes say a lot. 
And you feel better when you know you look good. Isn't that my line? Well, I'm certainly not going to argue with her. Okay, let's continue. We've got one or two linens to do today. You know, when we have a lot of linens to do, Grandma and I use dry starch. And the old way's still darn good, too. You mix the dry starch in cold water, pour into boiling water and stir. Nothing to it. But still, it's not as easy as these spray cans, right? Of course not. But with dry starch, you can get a beautiful, crisp, smooth finish, just the way a commercial laundry does. Those laundries really know how to do things just right. So do we. Look, just a little extra spray starch, and you can do pretty things. Do you always use starch, Mom? Why wouldn't you use it? You wouldn't want to be seen with your clothes full of wrinkles and <laughs> crushed like a dead petunia, would you? That's right. You're not droopy, so why wear droopy stuff? You want your clothes and linens to look and feel and smell nice and fresh. Well, what if my clothes aren't made of cotton? Then you have fabric finish here for polyester blends. And if you want even more body, you can use spray starch too. Look, I'm gonna show you a neat trick. Whether you're using spray starch or fabric finish, spray one whole garment like this, then roll it up loosely, then spray the next one like this, and like this. Then, roll this one up. Now, iron the first one. See, just that little bit of extra time allows the garment to absorb the moisture. And you don't get those little white flakes. And, doesn't coat the iron. Wow! Fabric finish is great stuff. Puts the life back in our old clothes after so many washings. I use it for my sewing. Pressing hems, seams, pleats, all that. Takes out my stitch marks, too. It's terrific. Oh, and before I forget, remember to always wash the spray button with warm water after you finished ironing. Long before your mother was born, my grandmother was starching our clothes. That's why our family looks like royalty in those old family photos. Why did she use it back then? Why, for the same reason we use it today. Because it takes out all the wrinkles. Wrinkles. I wish I could use starch to take out the wrinkles in my life. Hey, Ellen. Man, you look great. Thanks. So do you. Want to dance? Sure. <laughs> 